Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to uh, discuss about pneumonia of kid. So pneumonia can affect, you know, it is an infection of the lung. So it can affect one lung or both lung. Um, so either it can be caused by bacteria or it can be by virus. Um, and it makes the child unwell. So what are the cause? Uh, most commonly viral infection. That can be adenovirus, rhinovirus, influenza, RSV, parainfluenza, and usually the viruses, you know, is never responded to antibiotic, and usually immune system of child fight with it. Second most, of course, by bacterial infection and streptopneumonia is often often to blame. These bacteria are present in noses and throats of many healthy people without causing a problem. But young children whose immune system are not yet fully developed are more susceptible to infection than older children and adult. Uh, so pneumonia is very infectious, uh, not a very infectious disease within families. Virus and bacteria that causes pneumonia can spread by coughing, sneezing, and touch contact with infected person. Uh, so pneumonia is most common in younger children and often start after a cold, cough, sore throat. Um, and it is usually started like a cold symptoms. So what are the symptoms and signs usually you see? Uh, it can depend upon the age of the child and um, key symptoms will be the temperature above 38.5 degree and rapid breathing, breathing or difficulty in breathing. Other is cough, labored breathing, so that can happen, vomiting, chest pain or abdominal pain or decreased activity, loss of appetite. In extreme cases can be blue, gray lip and finger trip. Um, so how it can be diagnosed? The doctor will examine child, organize a chest x-ray, blood test, sometimes bacterial capture. Now how it is treated uh, is by oral antibiotic um, and just that the child can stay at home. Depends upon uh, the antibiotic treatment, uh, what type of pneumonia. It usually gets better child within 48 hours of treatment starting. Sometimes uh, hospital treatment may be needed when child cannot eat or drink a uh, severe infection that affecting child too much. Now, um, when you uh, the child is at home, you can help them. Uh, but that child can feel comfortable. Um, medicine should be taken, antibiotics should be taken and of course taking a, a rest. Paracetamol can be given in fever through reduced temperature. Plenty of fluid is very important. If bleeding less than normal, that is fine. Uh, so it's very, uh, sometimes they can cough a lot more, lot, coughing in the uh, time, uh, night time. Um, so that is, you know, to spit out the flame that is inside the lung. Um, if a child is too young, alone to, uh, young to do this coughing properly, um, so they can be like uh, try lying them across your lap and patting the back during coughing fit. Um, if the child has chest pain, try a heating pad or warm compress on the chest area. So Always keep a look on that whether lip and nails, they are all pink and uh, not become bluish or gray. Um, so in that case, it is a bit emergency. Uh, difficulty in breathing is common. Um, occasionally that can get worse. So basically that time it is better to be seen by a medical profession. Um, so how it uh, you know uh, can it be prevented it is uh, basically thanks for less it is pneumonia is becoming less common and pneumococcal vaccines uh, introduced which offer pro protection most common bacterial um, infection and uh, it offered at uh, two months four months and 13 months in uk 2001 for children condition which put them in high risk of infection like heart disease um, it is a become part of routine immunization in 2006. So yes, side effect of the vaccine is very rare. Now, how harmful is uh, pneumonia? Despite vaccination available, um, around uh, 700 reported cases of pneumonia under five in the UK every year. Um, 
and this is claims the lives of around 40 children in England and Wales every year. So it is worth being aware of the signs and symptoms of pneumonia and take your medical help. Hopefully, these are the, you know, you will increase awareness among everybody about pneumonia of kids. And we'll talk about another condition next week. Bye for today.